Hello, Taurus. This is Dee with Metaphysical Moonlighters, and this is your March 2019 horoscope. So this month, I am bringing you pictures from my hometown city, New Orleans, okay? I was born and raised in New Orleans, and this is the month of Mardi Gras this year. Um, sometimes Mardi Gras is in February, sometimes it's in March, but always remember Mardi Gras is always the day before Ash Wednesday, okay? So let's get into the forecast for this month because we have Mercury going retrograde this month. We have Uranus moving into Taurus this month. And for you, Taurus, your focus this month is going to be on your goals and your friendships. And why do I say that? I say that because there's going to be a concentration of activity in Pisces, in the zodiac Pisces. So this month, we, we have a new moon in Pisces. We have the sun in Pisces for part of the month. We have Neptune there all month. We have Mercury there at the end of the month. And we have Venus there at the end of the month as well. So wherever Pisces is in your chart, that's what your concentration is going to be for the month. And so for you, Taurus, your concentration looks like it's going to be your friendships and your goals, which is house 11, okay? So now we do have some aspects that I will go over. Um, the first one is Venus in a square to Uranus on March 1st. Another thing I want to point out is that the dates that I mention are exact dates. However, you can feel the energy of the planetary movements before the actual date and even after the actual date. So don't get hung up on a particular date because especially if you are sensitive to energies, you can feel the, the energy from the planetary movements before the actual date. And it also depends on whatever else is going on in your personal birth chart. Okay, so let's get back to Venus in a square to Uranus. This is an energy where you will want excitement. Everyone will want excitement, even if you have to provoke it. Okay, so for you, Uranus in Aries falls in your house that deals with spirituality, that deals with secrets. So you might do something that you have to keep secret around that time. This is just an example. Um, Venus is in the area of your life that deals with higher knowledge, such as higher education, legal matters, things of that nature. So just be careful around this time because remember, when Venus is in a square to Uranus, you will want excitement even if you have to provoke it, okay? And this is also a time where you will see more and more people flirting. You might notice yourself flirting more, things of that nature, okay? Now, also, Venus enters Aquarius on the same day. And when Venus enters Aquarius, this just broadens your love for everything. You might be walking down the street and you just proclaim your love for the flowers that you are looking at. You might proclaim your love for the birds, the bees, just everything in general. You will just feel a love for everything when Venus enters Aquarius. Remember, Aquarius is the sign that deals with friendships. So you just might broaden your love for people and things in general. Also, we have the moon in a conjunction to Saturn and Pluto. So this is also going to be a time where um, emotions will run deep and you might not want to deal with it. So just be prepared for all of those things happening around this time. Now this picture, this is Cafe Du Monde in New Orleans. It's in the New Orleans French Quarter. So if you visit New Orleans, make sure you stop here and have some beignets and coffee. If you don't drink coffee, you can have hot chocolate. You know, it's a great place to just go sit down and soak in the ambiance of New Orleans, okay? There's usually live music playing in the area where you can just listen to live music. It's a really cool area to visit. And it's, it's family friendly, this area. Now, on March 5th, we have Mercury going retrograde, okay? 
And we all know when Mercury goes retrograde, just to, it's a time to retract your steps. It's a time to rethink things. If you do have to buy any electronics, make sure you double check and triple check what you're buying and make sure you purchase a warranty, okay? But if you, if you can wait, I do suggest that you wait. But if you have to buy something, just go ahead and do it. Just make sure you are being very, very, very careful, okay? Now, also around this time, we have the new moon in Pisces, okay? And so if there's anything that you want to start related to your goals, related to your friendships, this is a great time to start that at this new moon, Taurus. And this is also the date that Uranus enters Taurus. Uranus will be entering your sign. So this is going to be a day where um, reflection will be really, really great for you. Because also the sun is going to be in a conjunction to Neptune. And when the sun is in a conjunction to Neptune, this is a time where your intuition is going to be increased. And it's also a time where you won't want you won't you won't want to cope with everyday life. So for you, and actually for every sign, this is a great day to meditate, to just meditate and soak in information that you are receiving. Okay. Now on the seventh, it's a great day to talk about your emotions when the moon is in. Uh, a, a conjunction to Mercury and also on that day when the moon is in a square to Jupiter this is going to aid you in seeing the brighter side of life now this picture in the background is the St. Louis Cathedral it's a great place to go and take a horse and carriage ride just walk around and stroll through the French quarters and this St. Louis Cathedral is directly across from the Moonwalk, where you can walk along the river in New Orleans. Okay, now New Orleans is a family-friendly place. I took this picture many years ago, um, and these are my kids in the picture. Okay, this is my son at the top, and this is my daughter here. They were climbing in the trees. That's one popular thing to do in New Orleans is to visit City Park. And have your kids climb the trees, you know, just get out in nature and enjoy um, that whole ambiance, okay? This was in City Park, so if you do bring your kids to New Orleans, make sure you visit City Park. You can take them on a, a train ride through the park, um, let them climb the trees, let them get some ice cream, let them play on the playground, things of that nature, okay? Now, getting back to the forecast. From the 13th through the 15th, we have some things going on. Um, on the 13th, you might have a burst of energy, okay? But watch out for committing to more than you can handle on the 13th. And then on the 14th, um, this is a day where you will have a lot of patience when Mars is in a trine to Saturn, okay? This is a great day to do anything that will require you to have a lot of endurance. And it's also a great day to um, take care of business when Mercury, I'm sorry, when the sun is in a conjunction to Mercury. And then on the 15th, the 15th is going to be a very optimistic day. It's going to be a great day to make big plans and long range goals. Okay, this is the French market in New Orleans. It's a great place to go and buy some fresh fruit and vegetables. And you can also buy some local New Orleans delicatessens, okay? And it's right outside the French quarters. So it's it's within walking distance to the French quarters. And so I do recommend you visit the French market as well to get that authentic New Orleans experience. Now on the 20th, we have a lot going on on this day, okay? Um, the 20th is going to be a great day to work on things that you want to change. And why do I say that? Well, we have Mars in a trine to Pluto. That's an energy where 
it's good to work on things you want to change. The full moon in Libra is going to be a great time for you to release anything that is not serving you well in relation to your health, Taurus. Okay. Also, the sun enters Aries on this day and it's the spring equinox. So it's a perfect day to work on things that you want to change, especially things you want to change related to your health, Taurus. Now, this is the famous Bourbon Street, okay? It's a great place to go and party like a rock star, okay? Um, this is probably, this picture was probably taken on Mardi Gras Day. Um, now, I don't recommend that you bring kids to Bourbon Street after dark, okay? Daylight hours, like around noon, is a great time. If you really want to take your kids through the, you know, to Bourbon Street, I would recommend that you take them there early in the morning or in early in the afternoon. After dark, it can get risque, okay? Just to let you know. But it is a great place to visit as an adult and just party like you never party before, okay? Now... Let's get back to the forecast, okay? So between the 21st and the 31st, this is going to be um, a time where relationships might be tested. And why do I say that? Because on the 21st, Venus is going to be in a square to Mars. Whenever you see that aspect, just know that it could be a challenge to relationships. Even if it is a challenge within yourself, you know, you might be balancing the feminine side of yourself with the masculine side of yourself, things of that nature. So just watch out for that. Um, but on the 24th, when Mercury goes conjunct to Neptune, this is a great time to study mystical topics. Okay? And also... Mercury goes direct on the 28th, and then Mars enters Gemini on the 31st. Now, for you, Mars entering Gemini is happening in the area of your life dealing with your material possessions. So, you might find yourself talking more about your finances around the end of the month, Taurus. Okay, so I do recommend that everyone visit New Orleans, check out the Zulu Parade. These are the Zulu Tramps. They are responsible for getting the crowd hyped um, during the parade. And the Zulu parade is actually on Mardi Gras Day. But if you want to check out other parades, I do recommend you maybe come maybe a week or so before Mardi Gras, even a few days before Mardi Gras, because the biggest parade of the season is Endymion. Endymion and then Bacchus. Now, also take the streetcar when you visit New Orleans. Um, this is a St. Charles line streetcar. It goes up and down St. Charles. Now, St. Charles, New Orleans does have a lot of nice things, guys. New Orleans has mansions all over the place, okay? And if you take this, the St. Charles streetcar, it'll take you down St. Charles. And St. Charles Avenue has some of the largest mansions in New Orleans, okay? This is an example of one. This is another one or another house on St. Charles. Now. That's everything I have for you this month. If you have liked this video, press the like button, share it with your family and your friends. Also, subscribe to the channel and check out the new Cheetah mobile app. It's a great app for checking your horoscope on the go. I do have the links in the description box, so you can just click on the link and check out that app. Um... So, if you would like a birth chart interpretation, visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com, and also like my Facebook page, Metaphysical Moonlighters. So, I do appreciate everything, and until next month, Taurus, enjoy your month. Happy Mardi Gras.